Tissue perfusion and blood flow play a key role in delivering oxygen, heat, and nutritional supply within our body. Blood vessels widen or narrow to redirect blood to where it is needed the most. But when it comes to the brain, it gets more sophisticated. Since cerebral blood flow, CBF, is essential for maintaining brain function, the brain has a unique auto-regulation system that keeps CBF constant, even when times are rough, like during complicated hemodynamic medical procedures. However, even the auto-regulation system has its boundaries. There are upper and lower thresholds of blood pressure, which vary from one patient to another. Think of it as holding a watering hose. If water runs at a decent pressure, you can use your finger to control the flow. But this is impossible if the pressure is too low or too high. Researchers at Johns Hopkins Medical Center used Ornim's C-Flow device to monitor continuous CBF in patients who underwent bypass surgery. They discovered that a significant number of patients whose CBF broke these thresholds during or after the surgery had a higher incidence of acute kidney injury and longer stay at the ICU post-surgery as well as post-operative delirium. These translate into higher costs for the hospital and healthcare. The C-Flow device monitors blood flow in a non-invasive way by projecting laser light onto blood cells and analyzing how the light changes according to the movement of blood cells. The ability to monitor CBF changes and auto-regulation has the potential to personalize blood pressure treatment regimens without compromising brain perfusion. While cerebral oximetry is used constantly, it is only a surrogate for CBF. C-Flow is the only real measure of CBF available in the market that is non-invasive. It can be applied during bypass surgery, stroke, and other neurocritical treatments. C-Flow enables doctors the chance to easily prevent failures and severe complications while also saving money for the hospital.